Developing now tense moments inside a Fulton County courtroom as prosecutors and defense attorneys clash over prospective jurors in the YSL gang case. Hip hop superstar Young Thug is on trial as well as others. Channel 2's Michael Seiden has been in the courtroom since this morning. He joins us now live outside. Michael, this process could take at least a month. No question, Linda. First of all, we're talking about nearly 750 prospective jurors. Now, today we only heard from four of them. They were asked a quite a bit of questions, everything from their feelings about hip hop music to what their thoughts are about people having tattoos on their neck. Tonight, jury selection is underway in the sweeping YSL gang case against hip hop superstar Young Thug and his alleged associates. Over the next month, nearly 750 prospective jurors are expected to face questions like, do you have an opinion on people who have head and neck tattoos? Do you believe rap lyrics are usually autobiographical? And is your mind perfectly impartial between the state and the accused? In court today, juror number one spent more than an hour answering those questions and more. At one point, he told the judge that after reading the indictment in its entirety, he believes the state has a strong case, adding that they have enough evidence to get a guilty conviction. But Judge Ural Glanville stepped in, making it clear that the indictment is not evidence. Attorneys also heard from juror number 13. She's the wife of a pastor, and she also condemned hip-hop music, told the judge that she watches a lot of network news and believes that YSL stands for Young Slime Life, a criminal street gang. But defense lawyers argue that YSL is a record label called Young Stoner Life. Is there anything that would keep you from listening to the law that the court gives to you and hearing the evidence presented in this courtroom and making a determination as to each defendant based solely on the evidence that you see and hear and the law that the court gives to you. I don't believe so. When you hear YSL in the context of not the designer, what do you, do you have a negative, positive, or neutral perception of that those three letters? I'm going to say neutral just because, you know, I'm aware of the negative side of it, but then I also know that other people have other opinions about it. And minutes ago, I got a text uh, from a source upstairs telling me that they have wrapped court for the day. Tomorrow, they will start with the next panel of jurors. Again, this could last at least a month, and then hopefully they will finally get the jury seated and then we can expect opening statements as this trial continues. For now, we're live in downtown Atlanta. Michael Seiden, Channel 2 Action News.